show is not intended for underdeveloped audiences. The following words are not so gentle and are intended to be comedic in nature. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Welcome to the Deep Freeze, the show you won't see on MTV. I can't remember everything I've said. In fact, I don't. That sometimes it's that's why we have a podcast so we can always go back and yeah listen to ourselves. So I had this great idea What's of up? playing the newlywed game with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we aren't getting married, but we have been friends for a long time. You're watching the Deep Freeze. My name is James. My name is Grant, and I'm AJ. <laughs> you just want to jump right into it? Fuck it. Well, first off, how long have you guys known each other? You didn't come along till. The end of ninth grade, because that's when I met Sophie, and you were dating her at the time. Oh, yeah. And then we became friends over <laughs> Xbox, and then we finally met in person. Yeah, we used to play Halo together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Wait, really? Yeah. That's where it started? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Me, me, Tristan, Sophie, all of us playing Halo together. That's cool. I don't know how... I don't remember exact details on how that... I believe the band came part out. was all Zach's decision. Yeah. And then he kind of brought us all together. That's, that's crazy. So we've known each other now since, that would be about 2012. Yeah. So about oh. nine years. Yeah, nine years. Nice. That took, is solid. Took a while to That's get to solid that. Solid as fuck. Okay, so answer. you better not miss a single question then. All right, AJ, let's start this off. All right. Grant, who was the person that James looked up to the most growing up? Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is some truth to that. I mean, I think a lot of us... At least looked up to him a bit. Yeah, because yeah. my brother Josh, he used to dress up as a pirate, and he looks just like Jack Sparrow did when he dresses up. And yeah, obviously you look up to your big brother, you know, because he he's real cool. And uh, yeah, you could as you could say there's one of them, one of the guys I looked up to, Jack Johnny Depp in general. Sure. Yeah. Now for you, what do I think you person you do? How do I word that? Who I mm. looked up to the most? Who did up? Grant look up to the most? I'm gonna have to say. John Brown? <laughs> John Brown? <laughs> I don't know, dude. You know... The not, Joker? <laughs> not... Well, no, John Brown, I think, would, would fit a little bit better than the Joker. Um, the main difference, though, between me and John Brown is I am not a Christian. Yeah. Uh, I think historical figures were a lot of people that I looked up to growing up just because... Um, I mean, I, I looked up to my dad a great bit, for right. sure. Yeah. I think we all... Just yeah. a little bit. But, uh, yeah, historical figures in general. Like, uh, yeah. Alexander the Great, I think. Probably hey, the most. Okay. Probably the most. Next question. What was your favorite food? Or what is your favorite food, and how often do you eat that specific food? The thing is, I've seen you eat, <laughs> and it's... T I've never really seen you eat the same thing a bunch. Yeah. I know eggs. You like eggs. Sure. Yeah. And chicken. <laughs> I mean, I've seen you eat both of those <laughs> yes. more than once, <laughs> and that's all I got. Okay, um, I'd have to say, as of today, usually I'd say Chinese food. Okay, yeah, you know, and it'd be a rare occasion buffet You're usually. Right, um, but I am a fucking sucker for jalapeno poppers, huh? And raspberry jelly. Hmm. It's the best combination in the world. That sounds awful. Dude, it's... <laughs> mint. I got some poppers at the house right now. That so. actually sounds pretty good to me, I think. I don't know why. They're fucking delicious. Yeah. With the raspberry jelly, my mom makes it homemade, too. Oh, okay. Mm. Homegrown. Shit. Uh, let's see. For you, uh, is coffee a food? <laughs> because I know for a fact you love fucking coffee. I do love coffee. Uh, what, let's see, what's your, what's your uh, guilty pleasure? Let's see. I would say my guilty pleasure is probably coffee. Chinese food? Chinese food, yeah. Noodles. Yeah, we're, there, we're the same on that one, yeah. I think. What is the one thing in the world that you're most afraid of? Ooh. What are you the most afraid of? It's not spiders. It is spiders. It is spiders? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> you handle it well. Yeah. I don't know why I'm afraid of them. Uh, they just creep me the fuck out. They're aggressive. They're, they're creepy. Their and nature is just aggression. Yeah. They try to kill everything they can so they can feed. But if it, w other than an animal, 
I think. What would you think? What? I'm I would of. say you've also skydived, so it's not heights. It's talking to women. Yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Top thing is talking to women because I'm deathly afraid of you guys. Uh, what about you? Clowns? <laughs> no. <laughs> what would be? What would I be am grand? a fucking clown, dude. Yeah, you're right. What do Grant be afraid of? Uh, fucking I'm, dying alone? I, I, well, no. <laughs> I've been actually pretty vocal about this one. I think um, my biggest fear: driving in the rain. It's not a spider, <laughs> but it's got a lot of limbs. Octopus. Yeah, just cephalopods in general. <laughs> cephalopods. Dude, all cephalopods scare the fuck out of me, dude. I don't know why, but it's just, if you put dude. one in front of me and it's living, like, I can eat squid and calamari and stuff, fried yeah. and whatnot, because it doesn't look the same. Right. I can even eat it out of a can, which is odd, I know. But if you put a live one in front of me, ah, no. Oh. Yeah, its eye is the size of a basketball. Holy shit. Yeah, and those things have beaks. Yeah. In each of their, like, little... They're, they're so big that, like, their sucker cups have teeth on them. Oh, my God. So, we we don't stand a chance if we're in the water and it's living. Yeah. Like, it's, that's just how it is. Yeah, uh, they can literally rip you to pieces with their tentacles. Anyways, next question. That's Wild. crazy. I think that fear is justified. Yeah. yeah. Fear of the ocean, in general. Um, what's one goal that you have in life that you want to accomplish more than anything else? Easy. Money and fame. Not so much fame, <laughs> but financial success. Financial success. You know, yeah. for you, your goal in life, accomplish more than anything. Be a renowned singer songwriter. Possibly would be at least on the list that for is, sure. That is one goal, yes. But that is one goal. I think. Is it above everything, though? I think what's above everything is a little less solid than that. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. It's more philosoph philosophical than that. Uh, my main goal is to leave a carbon footprint in my mean? wake. Huh. So before I go, before I leave this earth, I want there to have been at least a moment that just like, makes it into the history books. Yeah, that would be... something. Yeah. Whether it be my philosophical ideas, my music. You want to leave behind something that can help people. Yeah. I want to, I want to leave behind a legacy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I believe most people do. Yeah. But they kind of go with it like, I'll have kids and they'll be my legacy kind of thing. And me at the moment, I don't want any children. I don't even want to get married. So. Yeah. Um. My watermark on the world is going to be the videos and nice. the archives of scrapbook videos. I mean, in 30 years, if YouTube's still around, I can go back and look at and watch all this stuff. And if people want to know about me and I'm dead and gone, they can just go on YouTube. True. Check me out. I mean, I'll, I'll forever be on the internet as of right now. We're always going to be on the internet. Yeah. So, but. Whether or not you're in a book, that means something. Right. Oh. I'm a ma I imagine you want to finish your book eventually, though, too. That is something I've been secretly working on. I've been less vocal about it nowadays. Right. I mostly love because book. I've been I've been writing it. Actually, I've been writing recently in this book. Hell yeah. Um, but the the main thing is, every time I get vocal about working on the book, I stop <laughs> fucking writing it. Oh yeah. And I don't know why. I think it's just... Something psychological. Yeah, maybe. something psychological is happening. But, yeah. like, every time I start talking about my book to people, and, like, yeah, I just stop writing. All right, who is your favorite current celebrity? Who is your current favorite celebrity? I'm not going to go with Johnny Depp, because I think that would have been a previous favorite. Yeah. Uh, I and mean, we already covered him. Ah. <sighs> I feel like it's a musician. It has to be, right? Tell me if I'm getting warmer. Well, I got to think of who my favorite celebrity... Because I, I don't follow pop culture, so... Um, right. If I had to pick a quote-unquote celebrity... Don't say it out loud. Just give me the genre that they're in. Because celebrity is such a yeah. vague term now. Yeah. Like, we're... Yeah. 
low, 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 low level celebrities. Yeah, we in went. A sense. <laughs> little bit, yeah, little bit. We got followers. Yeah, not a lot of them. Not a lot of them, but they're we, there. They are there. We got our first fan. I don't know who he is, but he keeps commenting on the videos. His name's uh, Captain Cum. Could be Hayden. <laughs> I feel like that has to be either Hayden. I tried asking him who he was. He said, I forgot what he said, but I said, I says I'm Captain Cum. <laughs> I think your favorite celebrity is Captain Cum. <laughs> it's Captain Underpants, bro. Ah, oh, I'm kidding. Shit. Um, the genre. I mean, so since you asked this question, there's only been two celebrities on my brain that I can think of. They were in the same uh, TV show. Genre would be, this is going to give it away, uh, like horror uh, type mystery TV show. Uh, I think I know it. Fuck. You want to phone a friend? Dude. Uh, you ever watch uh, Supernatural? Oh, Jensen Ackles? <laughs> yep, and uh, Jensen and, uh, Ackles and, and uh, his brother. And his brother. Fucking, <laughs> uh, Jensen the one with Ackles. The abs. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. was his name again? Oh, I feel fucking so Jared bad. Padalecki. Yeah, Jared Padalecki. Yeah, yep, yep. That's right. Yeah. Them two dudes. And. Misha? Misha Collins? Yep. Misha Collins. Dude, is the pretty whole dope, Supernatural so. cast. That is That true. was a really good cast. They're, yeah. they're amazing. Great cast. And what a, what a good show to bring up at this time. This will probably release. Dude, I love Supernatural. On Halloween, so. It, yeah, this will be Happy Halloween, motherfuckers. Yeah, this Happy is, Halloween. Uh, coming out on Halloween night, so nice. Um, I was gonna dress up, but uh, 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 didn't. I didn't even think about it. No. I'm just eccentric, so this is what I wear. Oi, you know. And I also noticed in some of our podcasts, I'm always wearing a plain white T-shirt. You're always wearing a plain black T-shirt. That's fun. And you, then you're also you're wearing your necklace. I'm wearing mine. <laughs> Oh, I was yeah. like, this is good. This is a good theme we got going on here. I wear the same shit every day. It's decent. Um, uh, what about me, I guess? Your favorite celebrity. Oh, man. Fuck, have you been watching a lot of movies recently? No. Is it is your favorite celebrity in a movie or TV show? Or is it a musical celebrity? Yeah, no, I gotta think, you know? Yeah, because I mean, yeah, it's not like we wake up in the morning and... My favorite celebrity, you know, I wake up in the morning, my first thing that goes in my head is I gotta poop and make breakfast. I don't think about my favorite celebrity all the time. So, I think, like, a few years ago, before I got into, like, training and stuff and, like, kind of washed out all entertainment out of my life, it would have been a better question for me then. Right. Um, but, yeah, now, it's a lot of, like, just inspirational people who do the impossible every day. I guess Joe Rogan would be my all-time favorite because he's just the he's going to end up being the smartest person in the world because of all the information he takes in. Well, regardless of his opinions on things, he just he, he talks and just knows so many p different people and things that go on. It's, I think he's a very very wise individual. Wise and I'm not going to even I don't know where his intelligence level is because I mean, he is a, a host of a TV show. The whole point is that he doesn't really want you to know yeah. how smart he is or not. Yeah. Um, obviously, he is, he's a very smart guy. Mm. Um, but I think what makes his show valuable is that he will have anybody on and let them talk. Yeah. And Which that, is rare nowadays. Yeah, so. and it's rare, and a lot of people fucking hate it. A yeah. lot of people don't want people to talk right now in culture. Yeah. And I think that's one of my main drives for doing this mm. is because I don't like those people. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. If you were a person who truly believes that we should censor people just because of where they stand, you are not a true American. Yeah. There's the door. Get the fuck out. Yeah. No, I, and, and like, here's what, here's your options. I mean, you can continue to be you because this is America and you are free to make your own decisions, have your own opinions. But down to the core of it, that is not in our Constitution to go against freedom of speech. Yeah. In fact, it's the opposite. Yeah. And what's happening in America is... I went off topic for sure. <laughs> oh. But what's happening in America is people don't want people to talk right now. Yeah. And we need people to talk. We need this is when we need up, it the yeah. most. Yeah. So... Favorite celebrity my favorite are the founding fathers? Yeah. <laughs> so I, my, my favorite celebrity might actually be Joe Rogan, even though I don't even watch his show all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Like, I've, I haven't even actually watched him this year huh. at all. Yeah. I've because just been he watching moved to Spotify. Clips. Yeah. But probably him because I, I agree with the, the, the core of his show, which is freedom of speech. Yeah, it's and amazing. Also, honestly. sourcing material. Like, yeah, like they every guest checked. he has on is fact checked and sourced. So yeah, there's that. That's great. And the, the, just the, the things you learn and discover watching him is just things I've never heard of before. Now, do I hate to admit that Joe Rogan's my favorite celebrity? Kind of, yeah, because I'm doing a podcast. I do jujitsu. I do all the things that this guy does just by happen chance. <laughs> right, right. Um, which I want to learn was, how to fight. But I was also raised, like, basically by my older brother, who would, you know, wrestle me, beat the shit out of me. So oh, yeah. Like, yeah, me too. It's kind of <laughs> all I know. <laughs> yeah. When it comes down to it, it's like, of course I'm going to do jujitsu because it's sustainable, more mm-hmm. sustainable than most martial arts. And, okay. um, yeah. Yeah, you need to teach me how to fight. Yeah, and I'm a little guy, so I'm on the bottom a lot. I need to know what to do. Yeah. Next. Next. <laughs> All right. What do we got? What is the most annoying trait yeah. about oh. the other person? <laughs> Fuck, here we go. Oh. <laughs> I need this. I need to know. Oh, what is your most annoying trait? Because, like, I know everyone talks shit on everybody behind their back. I want to know what shit's being talked about me. A lot of people say I'm cocky and hard-headed. But I see it as, uh, I, I know say, what the fuck I want in life. I would say... I'm trying to get it. Hold on. Go for it. And this, this might get a little serious. Let's do it. Um, Let's do it. But the, uh, the main thing, and I feel like you've actually gotten better on this since we've started, like, working together on this project in general. Yeah. Um, but taking criticism mm-hmm. used to be the one thing about you that annoyed me the most in what way um and it's happened a lot more back in the day right when i told you something you needed to hear it was you would like deflect or make a joke out of it or just straight up deny the criticism um and it's hard to give a specific like circumstance example. and yeah, yeah and a lot of it had to do with music right. back in the day right. um i was i mean like i said i'm very hard-headed and then so. it really shows more not with friends but with how uh your relationship is with your parents oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. when you do it the most yeah and i've worked on that a lot thank yeah. god i'm and i was gonna say um, yeah you, you are better at it um, oh. Especially with friends in yeah. general, because like I think you've come to a point where you realize like to maintain a healthy relationship, you got to be able to right. hear things about yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, you still do it with your parents, though. But th- then again, like, are you ever gonna stop? I don't right. know. That might be just a part of that relationship. Dude, yeah, it, it's it's weird because I'll um, and I hate having to say all this. No, I know exactly what you're you're saying because. It does happen, like, around my friends and my parents come around when I'm with my friends. It's, like, I get a, I definitely, the smart ass comes out in me. But at the same time, I just don't have time to deal with all this, whatever was going on at the time. Like, mm-hmm. every time I go out to work on my truck or something, my dad comes out and starts talking to me, telling me how to do it. I'm like, stop, dad, please, go away. Let me figure it out. Yeah. And really, I need to stop being so arrogant and just let him fucking talk. Let him get a word in. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, even last night, my dad was telling me how you can save money by combining... But, like the to- He was telling me how basically how to clean a toilet and save the material that you use to clean the toilet and how to get, how to get it... See what I'm saying? No, uh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah, like, yeah. I don't give a shit about yeah. OxyClean and cleaning. To- I, don't talk to me about this. I don't care. And yeah. so I would literally say that to my dad. It's like, Dad, I don't care about this topic we're talking about. I don't. And yeah. And he and it sucks because I just need to let him talk. And That's just a let perfect him get- example. You, you did it better than me. Yeah, and that happens all the time because I have a... a well, you like... I have a goal. Yeah, and you like solving problems your way on your terms yeah. as well. 
yeah. and that and I do too. I'm I'm very much the same way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just gotta let people talk and let people help and let people in. And that's the yeah. other thing. I'm just so I distance myself from people. Yeah. As a you know, just cause I don't. Yeah. The less you know about me, the less we got to worry about. <laughs> right. Which is funny because now we have a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and even like... And you've p- gotten better since we've started the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You've gotten better at this kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And even with my brother, like, I'm, and he ever asked me for help. I, I, here we go. I'm just, you know, I'm having all these epiphanies. The more I try to better myself and turn into a more healthy lifestyle, I'm just... Yeah. All these things are going off in my brain. Like, quit being an asshole. Let people talk. Be open. Be kind. Be con- courteous. You yeah. know. And you know, it also comes back to me being really religious. Um, I want to be a godly man. I want to be someone that people can look up to. Mm-hmm. I'm never going to be perfect, but chasing that is is that a bad thing? No. To strive for no. perfection? Actually, no. And I, I, I might diverge for just a sec before he gets into it about me. Go for it. But I was just actually like listening to someone talk about this kind of thing. Uh, whenever we, we go, we started this journey of something, like the workout journey, right. um, this what, even jujitsu journey, yeah. uh, or music for that matter, we never stop. And a journey is actually a terrible word for it because a journey implies that there is a beginning and an, and an end. end. Yeah, like a trail. There is no beginning or end. I mean, sure, there's a beginning, but like we, yeah. we don't find the end. Once no. you hit a black belt, you don't stop doing that. Yeah. You might. You might be like, oh, I'm done. I got my black belt, whatever. Right. But more, more times than not, you're going to keep going because it's all you yeah. have been you doing. Might and turn it's all into you turn into an instructor or you might try to achieve higher levels of exactly and with music yeah you learn this song you learn these techniques you learn how to apply these techniques and then a new technique comes along how can and you I do learn better? that how can you, i do it faster and you just keep going and it's not even linear oh no a lot of the times you hit a wall you hit this obstacle that you're trying to figure out how to get past right so we go over we go under we go around we go side to side but the truth is we try to keep moving forward yeah until we either give up or we die yeah <laughs> it's kind of like a sailboat sailboats when you watch their journey through the water they don't move straight through the water they have to adjust with the wind the wind the waves the weather conditions the wa- and the wind is always changing yeah. and so are the sails So, yeah, they're trying to get from point A to point B. And when you look from above, yeah, it looks like they're going straight. But really, they're getting hit from all angles. And they have to adjust to those angles to keep moving forward. And you have to deal with what's going on on the actual boat itself. And us as human beings have to do the same thing. Yeah. And, yeah. What was the question? Most annoying trait that Grant has. Um, I'm so excited to hear this. (laughs) I've been asking people... (laughs) And I've never gotten an answer, so... I'm excited to hear this, because I don't know you well enough to, like, pick anything out, so... That is true. I'm just sitting here I for... I will be honest <laughs> with you, it's going to be a hard one to find out, or to think of, but... And I, that's not me trying to not say something. Right. It's just... I mean, that's... I told my friends, like, there's not a single person that I can call up on the phone, and we're on the phone for fucking 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Nobody. We, we were on the phone for 30 minutes. I, I was sitting in the parking lot of the liquor store about to go in, and this guy calls me up. Or I'm 30 minutes later. I get out. Like, it's insane. Yeah, that's um, true. It's a I don't... I mean, I guess one thing I've noticed in the podcast by watching it, and it's not a bad thing, maybe it's a jealousy thing mm. on my part, is you need to be heard Hmm. you you need to speak out yeah but that's a good thing because i'm not great at initiating conversation i'm not i don't have very have a very colorful dialogue Hmm. you do Hmm. and so it's not an annoying trait it's a good trait that i am jealous of Hmm. which makes it annoying 
Okay. But that's on my end, not yours. So. Okay. Well, that was well explained. Yeah. Um, yeah. But with every podcast, it gets better. Yeah, and I think... And I get more accepted. And then I also... Yeah, we, I think... We get equal, eventually. Yeah, and I think so. Well, and I think also, like, we're, at the, we're still at the beginning of this project we're creating, too. Yeah. And, um, like, when it comes to, like, just background in general, we're both entertainers, but I've... You've been out on the I'm, more. I'm a more, yeah. You did the acting. Right. Like, I've always wanted to be, like, in yeah. drama club and on theater and stage. I've always wanted to. Yeah. But I was too insecure and jealous of everybody that had the balls to. Like, Tristan, right. love that motherfucker. Right. Dude, the shit he would do in drama yeah. class, the shit <laughs> theater. Over the top. He would wear a dress I love and it. act like I, a... Same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not give a fuck. Like, yeah. Love after he died, dude, I just wanted to live my life more like him. Yeah, no, the same. I took a lot of inspiration from yeah. how he is. Because every friend group's got to have a guy like him. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so, but yeah, back to my point is, like, I've just had, I think, more experience with entertaining a crowd right. with words. Yeah. Where you I'm, entertain a crowd with action. Yeah, that is, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, making a whole Something. room of people laugh is probably one of the best feelings yeah. in the world. Yeah. There's there's not really much that, that beats it. Right. Or cheer or feel anything, really, yeah. for that matter. My, for some reason. My favorite role to play are villains Ooh. because you make everyone fucking hate you like, yeah. for, the, for the whole show. Yeah. And then afterwards, they're like, like they'll, they'll meet you in the, like, the little meet and greet after the play. It's always awkward. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> uh, they're just like, you know, you're really nice. And I'm like, yeah, no, I know. I, know. I just think about how evil could I make myself seem. Yeah. And okay. that's what I'm going with. I like it. So you got to play the role. Next question. Next question. All right, let's go. Favorite type of music and favorite band. <laughs> yeah. My, my, oh, man. This is a complicated one yeah, because we are musicians. And we've evolved. I mean, back in the day, we had this our is, genre. Right. This is an now, easier question eight years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Metal. <laughs> Avenged Sevenfold. <laughs> Slipknot. I'm going to get real vague with this one. Yeah, it's fine. When I explain my own, but with you, for the most part, I mean, rock is, yeah. I mean, uh, that's a general just feel good rock. Yeah, feel good rock, upbeat music for sure. Yeah. Um, pop pop rock. punk. Yeah. Yeah. Pop punk uh, is definitely because, like, I remember back in the day, that's like what you wrote was like pop punk. Yeah. And uh, dude, I'm still sitting on that metal album I wrote back in high school. <laughs> I still need to do something with it. But I'd say your favorite bands. It's I would have to go with your favorite like musician. More or less, not your favorite band because there's a lot of. I'll give you a hint. Bands. It's on this wall somewhere. It is on this one wall. of these posters is my favorite band. Is it Chunk? No, Captain Chunk. Yeah. Okay, I love that makes chunk. sense. Chunk is my favorite. Um, now, don't get me wrong. There's a, I have a thousand favorites. Yeah. But they, I can listen to their f albums all the way through, and I get this nostalgia, nostalgic feeling, and just this. The world's in front of me. I'm gonna take it on full right. force for some reason. It's it's feel good pop punk. It's not feel good rock, but it's feel good music, and it makes me feel young again. Yeah. Uh, oh. Um. So there's that. Now for you. Um. At one point, I definitely say it would be metal. Yeah. For sure. Um. I feel like nowadays you've kind of more into the blues, for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. And then you got your little your crossover of the two. Yeah. I think that's about where you sit right now. Mm -hmm. Favorite band? I was going to say Slipknot, but we're going to go with the musician Corey Taylor. Or Robert uh, Johnson? Possibly. You're like, I mean, you're basically there. You're, you basically. basically hit it on the head. Um, Corey Taylor would... This actually answers a question earlier, probably. Um, celebrity question? Yeah, yeah, favorite celebrity, actually, Corey Taylor. Okay. Um, but favorite band? 
Slipknot is definitely the most respected band on my list. Black Sabbath? Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Black yeah, Sabbath, it. because they are the perfect combination of metal and blues, mm-hmm. and they were the first band to be dubbed heavy metal. How do you feel it, about it Ozzy a, on his own? Ozzy on his own, he has some good tunes. Um, I you, love Zach Wilde. Um, Randy Rhodes was a legend. Mm-hmm. Uh, How many of the original Black Sabbath members did Ozzy take with him on his solo shit? None. Really? None. Oh. I think probably some, like, were featured. Sure. Like, on, like, certain tours and stuff. Off, yeah. Yeah, and... But, yeah, none, no. He, he completely left that band. I don't listen to enough Black Sabbath. Yeah. So... No, he completely left Black Sabbath, I think, in the late, late 70s. It was like 78 or 79. Hmm. Uh, And he came back a few times throughout the years to do shows and stuff, like between Ronnie James Dio and the guy from uh, Deep Purple. Guy Fieri. Yeah, Deep Purple. (laughs) By the way, the singer of Deep... I don't know his name. I forget a lot. Yeah, I don't remember. Because I don't don't really like his music. But... Yeah, smoke but, on the water. That's yeah, all I smoke know. Smoke on the water. <laughs> that's high, all I know, yeah. but highway. Even then, it's an all right song. That best. that singer, he was actually the singer of Black Sabbath for, I think, at least an album. After he, Ozzy left. Uh way after. It was after okay. Dio left, and I think Dio came back later, after that, and then. He died, and then Ozzy came back for like their last tour, which I saw, hey, which was sweet. awesome. And so, yeah, no, Black Sabbath for sure. I pay homage to. Uh, Is Vince Neil still fat? Probably. Damn it. Okay, I had no (laughs) idea Joe Satriani was in Deep Purple. What? Huh. Wasn't he in, uh, what, who is he from? Probably Deep Purple. Joe Satriani, I just know him as Joe Satriani. Yeah, Yeah, I do too. too. (laughs) Click on him real quick. That's funny. I wonder, did he start with him? I'm sorry, here's Wikipedia. Chicken Here Foot. <laughs> he was in Chicken Foot. He's recruited by uh, Mick Jagger as lead So he's like a studio Jeez. guitarist. Man. Yeah. Okay. That makes See, sense. That's how I okay, kinda... so he just toured with Deep Purple. He was... okay. okay. Yeah, so he was... See, I yeah, consider so he's, myself he's more of, of a uh, studio musician rather than a... I mean, I love playing live. Yeah. But I do r- good work in the studio. And... uh I like live drumming, but when it comes to guitar, I prefer to be a studio guitarist because yeah. there's less, there's obviously room for failure everywhere, but I'd rather fuck up in the studio and create something golden than fuck up on stage True. trying to create something golden. You know? Fair enough. So I, uh, I would say I've only played my own music twice at shows, so yeah. the first two shows... I would say I, I enjoyed it, but also the nerves were fucking overwhelming the whole right. time. Right. So, um, next question. Would you describe me as a religious person? If so, what practices do you follow? Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I would, I would next say, question. I would say you're, you're Christian and yes. that's yes. your religion. Love the Lord. Yeah. It's a little more complicated for me though, I would think. That's kind of why I asked it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm pretty cut and dry. You know, you do good things, good things happen. Yeah. Um, you would be me more on the side of philosophy and spirituality, being one with everything else, kind of. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could say it, you're exactly the same as me, minus the idol. Right. In a way. Yeah. No, 100%. Put God as, like in the one podcast, passion, right. your spirit, your life force, your drive, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, and yeah, it's not it's not uh, like a question of like which faith do I follow. Yeah, it's more of like a. It's more broad. I think than that. everybody has a good point, and we and I think the main point of a religion, for me personally, is having a set of morals and guidelines that you follow yeah. to make yourself a better person gives you structure yeah. like they say you know so i'm not a heathen yeah <laughs> you know like god damn heathen. I, I do have values i have right like you things just, that i follow you just yeah. don't need to look up into the sky for uh what's that word guidance guidance um acceptance uh barracudas barracudas I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, you remember Jibber Scrabs? Jibber Scrabs, Jibber- yes. <laughs> yes. I, uh, yeah, I worship the uh, fire-breathing lobster that lives behind the rings of Saturn. Yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> yeah, we, we believe in jibbers and 
Gibberish Crabs. I'm from Bob Have Shark, you seen Never that Homer. movie? Today is a great day to start your own podcast. Whether you're looking for a new marketing channel, have a message you want to share with the world, or just think it would be fun to have your own talk show, podcasting is an easy, inexpensive, and fun way to expand your reach online. Buzzsprout is hands down the easiest and best way to launch, promote, and track your podcast. Your show can be online and listed in all the major podcast directories like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more within minutes of finishing your recording. Podcasting isn't hard when you have the right partners, and the team at Buzzsprout is passionate about helping you succeed. Join over 100,000 podcasters already using Buzzsprout to get their message out to the world. Let's create something together. Sign up with our link. After two months, we'll send you a $20 Amazon gift card. It just shows that you support the show and you support us. Um, so far, I've had a lot of good things with Buzzsprout. We've had roughly 30 downloads since starting. One of the best podcast hosting websites I've found so far. and It's, it's easy and it's affordable. So hop on over to Buzzsprouts if you're interested in starting your own podcast and uh, use our link to sign up. All Next right. Uh, favorite TV show growing up? How old can, is... Yeah. I was what's, the, say, what's the mark? What's what the cutoff? You pick? Is it like 14 or like 18? Like as a child? 16. Or... Let's say like since you guys like met each other. Like what were you into? What were you watching? That'd probably make more sense. Ah, probably Supernatural. Favorite. Yeah, I could watch it on repeat. Yeah. I mean. I, w I was going to say, I'm like. For you particularly. I mean, I watch a lot Same. of fucking... I stream a lot of yeah. fucking content. I'm going to take a like, a like a page from your book there, but in a little bit different light. Uh. South Park. Damn. Um, okay. Because, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of lessons in South Park. A lot of them are satirical. Yeah. But it also just makes fun of how stupid reality is <laughs> and like a lot of the things that happen in reality like right. politically either that or when it comes to celebrities they're really like, good at that like our, yeah. our our odd worship of celebrities is is definitely one of the main points in south park is like why are we worshiping these goons yeah that are just people yeah. like they're just people yeah and a lot of them aren't even good people yeah <laughs> they're not like, and they, they really, when whenever it is someone who's not a good person, they really dig in, yeah. like, deep. Yeah. Like, even so much so, uh, like, with, with Snooki, I know that's just the first example I thought of. I don't oh. think she's the worst person ever, but they really goblinized her. They really got her on South Park. <laughs> they fucking got her. It was funny. It was, yeah, it was. But it also, like, the main point is, like, why is she famous? Right, yeah. It, and so she's just a loud, like, chick. From New Jersey, who, who a, likes sleeping around and has a horrible tan, yeah, and eats donuts to make her ass fatter. Now it's a little outdated example because yeah, she's was... not really famous anymore. No. But because we realized it, we got it, we understood. Yeah, we same it, thing now MTV, is happening with like the Kardashians. Oh, next, next question. All right, um, I'm gonna answer. If you were going to choose a superpower, <gasps> what would be their superpower, and do you think that they would use their powers for good or evil? Okay, what do you think? You? Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot. I yeah, you're doing his. it for Fuck. you. Oh, what would be yours? <laughs> I'm gonna guess, because we've talked about this before. I imagined. So. Yeah. I'm gonna guess either telekinesis or teleporting. Close. With which one? Neither. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I, which it's, one? Cl it's closer to the teleporting. Yeah. Okay, so wings. You want to fly? I want to be able to fly. No okay. wings, because I get to get in the way. Oh, well. But just to be able to manipulate gravity around me. Okay. So, there, so in a sense, it's not real flying. It's just, if I want to, my brain says, okay, now we're no gravity, and I'm, okay, I'm moving this way. Yeah, kind of like more like a Clark Kent kind of flying than... Yeah, like Superman flying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that would be it. What would I use it for, good or bad? Good, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. I don't think you can really do much bad with flying. You can do a lot. Yeah, I guess you can mm -hmm. drop you bombs. You can drop... Yeah, I was going to say you can drop bombs. You can go scoop People. off a child off the street, fly up and drop them. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we got That's ideas. That's pretty evil. That is yeah. very evil. <laughs> that is Fuck. top ten evil things you can do with it. <laughs> yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, but I guess mainly what I would do is use it just so I can... Just scenery, dude. I'd get, like, really fucking high or something and just go fly. Okay. Get really drunk and... <laughs> through the fucking sky. Fucking Hancock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> through fucking Hancock. <laughs> that movie. Yeah. Yeah. His uh, is more of, like, a super jump. That's that true, It turns yeah. into flying, yeah. though. Anyways. Yeah, he, he eventually fl can fly at the end of the movie. Okay. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, but right off the bat, it's super jump. Mm -hmm. Um, You... I want to say wings as well. Flight. Yeah. Yeah? No, yeah, you nailed it. There we go. That's 100% mm -hmm. it. Except my flight would be winged flight. Okay. Uh, just because I like that idea. I yeah. just like the idea of, like... I don't know. I feel like it's also more approachable, like, in our world, too. Yeah. Just to be, like, a mutant. Right. In mm -hmm. general. However, you need to eat more food because of the calories you'd burn off. Yeah. Flapping? Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah. So, I've always believed that there is a correct answer to this question. What and do you mean? I think it's shape shifting. Ooh. Because you have every single. That's why I. Man, Beast Boy. said this to me that's yesterday. Beast Boy does not get the credit he deserves. Beast Boy could has the potential to be the best, like, better than Superman, better than Batman, that's better true. than all of them because shape shifting. But you can in comics anything. and stuff, it's just so such an underrated power. Mm hmm. That but, like, shape shifting. I think is like the correct choice because that's yeah. essentially every superpower. Well, and when you yeah. when you like look at like a character like Mystique, mm -hmm. Mystique is like as old as Wolverine. Yeah. Um. So who's Mystique? Mystique, she's the blue chick. Oh, that, that shapeshifts yeah. in X Men. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence is the newer one. Yeah, um, yeah. the old one. I, I liked her better, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. I think it's just because she actually played a villain, which Mystique is, and Jennifer Lawrence hmm. played a hero, which is not that character at all. Interesting. They just wanted to make Jennifer Lawrence the selling point of the X-Men. Mm. Yeah. Um, calling you out, Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. And with with that character, as like when she turns into someone else and can use their powers, it's like dumbed down a bit. It's like nerfed a little bit. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's like when she like turns into Wolverine. It's like obviously the claws aren't adamantium, but yeah. they're claws for sure. And yeah, they look yeah. adamantium, or like yeah when she. Yeah, because I guess shape shifting does have a difference. Because yeah, there's a big difference between Mystique and Beast Boy. That is true. So because like yeah, you can turn into any animal, not people, and then Mystique can turn into like whatever she sees, just like. Yeah. Pretty much any person. Yeah, I think. pretty much. Yeah, any person. Yeah. That'd be yeah. cool, like shape shifting, yeah, but, but only things that you've touched. Yeah. But yeah, that's why so Beast Boy I grow. like because it's like technically you have every superpower because if you want to go fast, you could be like a cheater or something. If you want to breathe underwater, turn into a fucking fish or a shark. Yeah. If you want to like, fly, whale. turn into the countless flying things, animals that we have. Or like, plane. That's not an animal. Yeah, I don't think you can turn into an inanimate object. And I mean, that probably is another shape shifting thing. Yeah, because when you say shape shifting, does it have to be strictly okay? Green organic? Lantern ring. You can he can literally just fucking make whatever he wants with his ring. True willpower. Use, yeah, willpower. Really? Super willpower. Yeah, yeah. Super That's, willpower. That, I mean, that might be the ultimate superpower, actually. Well, the ring. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Next yeah. question. Okay. Yeah. I think I have to pee. Um, sorry, I haven't even found a next question yet. I was, if given the opportunity, what could you talk about all day, every day? Probably that. All of that. Yeah. I, 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 I'm a sucker <laughs> for, like, dumb conversations that don't have any tie to reality. Like, talking about superpowers or, like, the supernatural. Or Do you have any insecurities? Yeah, if I like so, that one. what are they? What do you think, Grant? What, do you, what are my insecurities? Uh, you've talked to me. We've shared a lot of them today, I think, too. Both yeah. of us. I think we've shared all of them today. Deep Freeze is getting a little different type of deep. Yeah. We're not getting cold, we're just getting deep. Because now you're asking here. me to look at your insecurities and what I think they are. Yeah. Instead of me talking about them. I think... It's interesting. You would like to be better off physically than you are now. And it bothers you that you're not there to your current goal. Yeah. But that's the main thing, really, that yeah. I see. Because I'm tired of being 
looked down upon. Yeah. I am tired of being misjudged, miscalculated. Mm -hmm. But usually that's the best person to be, is to be misjudged, miscalculated, but behind that, yeah. you're not. And so people misjudge you until they meet you and see what you're doing. You know, don't say yeah. you're going to do something to people. Do it and then say, look what I did. Which is my approach now with my book. Right. And that's... And I, I, like the whole, I can't really do that with the podcast. Because, I mean, we kind of just went out of the gate full force, but... Yeah. yeah oh, we well. Did. Whatever. Your insecurity, it's an easy one. And maybe it's a, it's a shot, but it's a generic hype. Maybe, I mean, more so less when you're younger. More so when I was younger. I've come to peace with it. For yeah, sure. Because I mean, think um, of Kevin Hart. He's fucking. Well, how how? Yeah. He's like five two. So this was another one I was thinking about earlier today, um, and specifically like short man syndrome, which I don't think I portray a whole lot of. No. Uh, but I understand people with it. Who, who are like my height and shorter, who have this short man syndrome. Because everybody does look at you like you are physically incapable. And so when I, when I was when I was younger, like I, I felt like I had a lot to prove to people. Yeah. But what I found out is no one gives a fuck what you have to prove. Yeah. And when you try so hard to prove it, They'll pass it off as, oh, you just have short man syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just there again. Yeah. So, I do get it when people have it, but... Other than I, that... I, I feel like, honestly, I, I, that's not one of my insecurities. Not anymore. Not anymore. I don't think so. So, no. um, maybe your music, um, with, with, with trying to find gigs. I would say... A little discouraging, but... My biggest insecurity... Is and I think it is just a mental condition. Yeah. Um, I will go through bouts where I'm very confident in myself mm. and I'm above all and like not not like people but like above all of my obstacles that are in my life and I'm yeah. able to conquer them. Got all your dicks in one hand. But then sometimes the mood swings and I am the least capable person on earth. You feel like everything around you is just sucking you or yeah, restraint yeah. or choking well, and you. Well, in like, it's just showing me that like, no, you are a mortal. You are mm -hmm. a mortal yeah. person you're a, who you're a, who can't do it. You're, you, you're you, a you fucking can't. skin sack walking you're around Superman. Legs. Yeah. So, I would say my biggest insecurity is that um, sometimes I just do fucking fully doubt myself. Yeah. Yeah. Like that last week, you were getting all existential. Yeah. Just thinking about and then you gave me the world's hottest shit. <laughs> that kind of <laughs> yeah. You were you were just like, I'm leaving. I just fucking left. <laughs> I mean, not right after, but no, it was like was... four hours after. We were in here dying. So yeah, anybody fuck. who watched that challenge, this there's parts of that. Really, the worst part. Anybody who watched that video, we just sucked because we were going through absolute hell, <laughs> and we weren't that entertaining. But I... no, the, I, well, I don't know. That's my opinion though. That was, okay. I also watched it once, and that was my once over. Okay. But that, all things aside, it had nothing to do with you or your editing, editing okay. styles. Maybe it was me just being self critical, even about like in that, in that video. Because originally I watched the raw footage at least four times through, laughing my ass off. Okay. But see, since I edited it and was watching it so much, by the end of it, I fucking hated it. Yeah. <laughs> but so, Tanner, his brother, is fucking, sorry, I keep interrupting. But he sent me a video of him just fucking audibly just laughing while watching it. I'm like, oh yeah, hell yeah. No, I, it was. I think it was just less funny to me because of kind of what I'm about to say is, the real hell started after that video ended. Yeah, yeah. like that video was pr like you could as you could tell we were going through it. Uh, I wish it, we got behind the scenes. The though. real suck was afterwards. Yeah, after the camera. About cut. an hour later, this guy was on the floor fetal. clutching his stomach. Yeah. Yeah, fetal position, clutching his stomach. We didn't puke, but no. we got very close. Oh. And then I was like, okay, I'm doing fine over here. <laughs> and then he starts recovering. I start getting the pain. Yeah. And so I was in the restroom just sitting on the toilet, like, dizzy. Like, yeah. like felt like I was getting stabbed to death in the stomach. Yeah, gut-wrenching. Hours after that video, 
And then I, ha- I eventually had to be like, it's 6 p.m., dude. I got to wrap it up. Yeah, and then and you're like, just like, gone. And Well, yeah, because I had to go because I was... So, also, on the drive home... Oh, Lord. Dude, I thought I was going to wreck my car. <laughs> That's how much that shit hurt. Because I didn't know when it was going to end. Yeah. So, I was just like, I better go now because yeah. of time. Or else you're going to be stuck here. Yeah. yeah. So, on, on the drive home and, and, like, the first, like, half of that drive, I was sweating hard oh, I was sweating bullets uh it felt like just i had eaten glass and it was alive in my stomach yeah and i considered like if i had health insurance right now i would have went to the hospital i actually would have just went nope taking this exit yeah but Give because me to knock me out for yeah, a couple hours because i didn't have health insurance i made the decision to not go to the hospital and then i recovered a few hours later go home and smoke some weed yeah, I went home and immediately smoked some weed, and it helps. Yeah, I drank uh, so, a, started drinking, which probably wasn't good for that's the stomach. Terrible. <laughs> that's it, awful. Yeah, we forget about it. So. so, yeah, I would say anybody uh, who does the One Chip Challenge, uh, a, a, a you know, nice mix between CBD and THC is a good uh, little after, afterwards little, little treat. Mm. I, I'm not going to say it's a cure, but it's it helps. So you want to be buried or cremated when you die? I think you want to be cremated. I do. Okay. Why? I want to be cremated on a funeral pyre. Lord of the Rings style? Uh, well, I was going to say ancient Greek style, but that's kind of the same. Is so, it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. So yes, that style. And the reason why is because I don't want a grave. I don't. Hmm. I don't want it. I don't want a grave. They do cost a lot of fucking money for well, your family, that's, too. That's Go not on. it. All right, yeah, yeah. The reason Take that out of there. The reason I don't want a grave is it's a little more complicated than that. It is because I just don't feel like it's a necessity to have a marker of like this is where this dude's bones are. Yeah. I think it's silly cuz you have claimed a spot that you never like Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> when you die and you pick a grave spot, that a lot of the times the cemetery means nothing to you or it's where the rest of your family's buried. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to be buried in Hillsdale. Yeah. I wrote a song about the doom of, like, all of my family will end up at the bottom of Hillsdale Lake. Yeah. Um, just because they're they're actually all buried at Hillsdale Cemetery. Okay. Now, I don't want to be buried there, mostly because I have no tie to Hillsdale other than, like, going to the lake and having fun. Yeah. Most people try to be sentimental with burying and yeah, gravestones. And, and it's I, like, I don't, you're dead. And my, also, my last name's not Johnson. It's Gilbo. And I also don't know the Gilbos down in Louisiana. So I don't feel like I deserve, like, a Cajun burial. Which is awesome, by the way. That's probably, if I was to be, like, fully Cajun in the Cajun culture, I would want that type of burial, where they march you down the streets, jazz band plays, all that kind yeah, of yeah. stuff. That's fucking sick. Like the coffin dance? But <laughs> I have no tie to them either. Right. And a lot of my inspiration, like, to be a person, comes from, like, ancient hero myths and, yeah. like, old... Like historical figures, and a lot of these people were cremated, yeah. and and with cremation you can have a piece. I, I can have a piece of you with me yeah, all the time. Exactly. So that actual piece. Yeah. Does the DNA still live in the ashes, or is that? Uh, it's been destroyed. It's just but, carbon yeah. at that. Yeah, point. it's just carbon at that okay. point. But I think. Um, but uh, it's not even just that. It's that when you spread my ashes somewhere, you can spread them somewhere. I fucking actually have a connection to Mm -hmm. and that is where i will be when someone visits that place yeah like for example the grand canyon i'm not going to be spread there but like every time someone would visit the grand canyon who knew me they would be like grant's here this is fucking this is where he resides now this is is his place yeah. Um, so I feel like that is just a better, it's a more beautiful thought in my mind. Yeah, I think so too. I agree. So yeah, sorry it took me five minutes to get there, but it's okay. It's it was complex. <laughs> Power of editing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I guess I'm the same way. I'd rather be cremated and 
give put me in little vials and give them to every single person that wants one. Yeah. And with the rest of it, if there's any left over, snort them. <laughs> Get fucked up off my ashes, bro. Yeah, yeah. I want you to mix the rest of my ashes with, with MDMA, cocaine. cocaine, and Molly, and have a fucking party. And then then we'll join honor. you after that night. Probably. Just don't mix it with fentanyl. We'll be yeah. all right. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I'm was... gonna choose one real quick, and we'll okay. wrap it up. Sounds good. Sure. If I could step into any band as a lead singer, which band would I choose, Grant? It's not on the wall. Yeah. But there is... It would probably be my second favorite band. It's a metal band. It's not on the wall. It's not on the wall. I don't think it is. Is it Beartooth? No. No. How hard are they? Like, how hard is this metal? What kind of genre? Uh, Screamo. Screamo? That's what it was called back in the day when they started. Screamo. It's not Avenged Sevenfold? No. No? No. I'm not a fan of their, his vocals. Oh, okay. Fair He's enough. a great vocalist, but it's real nasally. I'm trying to yeah. think of like something that's... Crown the Empire? Nope. Not on the wall. That not one's on, on the wall. wall. Oh, that one's on the wall? I mean... Oh, shit. I mean... It is. I would love to fucking be that fucking... I would love to be Crown the Empire's screamer, dude. Yeah, he's I would love it, but very, there's yeah. one above that. There's one above that. He's also really fucking attractive, bro. Uh, br uh, bring me the horizon? No, you're getting closer. Oh. Asking Alexandria? Yep. Oh, yep, that makes sense. I love Asking Alexandria. I love their story to the breakup, to the the reunion, all the, everything. Mm -hmm. His uh, screaming and growling style is my influence. Mine's comes, easy. Yeah, Corey Taylor. Yeah, I would Slipknot. Hundred percent. <laughs> Slipknot's my kind of band, and I'm gonna expand on that just a little bit. Go for it. The reason I like them is because of the masks. Though yeah. my approach I love is the this, right? And the jumpsuits, their whole theme. There's there's a little bit of like an anonymous factor that I like having, and it's why I chose like the name Rivermouth for my project instead of just saying like Grant, Grant Gilbo, Gilbo or like Gilbo <laughs> Blues or like something like that, yeah. right? It was Grant because, Music. <laughs> because on stage, I am Rivermouth. That's right. me. If I have members, it's Rivermouth and the Ravines. It's yeah. more or less because I don't really like attention being on me per se. Right. I want it to be on what I'm giving you. Like Maynard's approach. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of like, people give him shit for it. And him. Tool like, would be the on. second band that I, or one of his projects, any yeah. of Maynard's projects, I would love to be the vocalist for. Yeah. But, okay. yeah. yeah, no, his approach is a very similar approach I would take to it. I also found out that the reason they don't allow flash photography, all the crazy lights, and all this shit is because he has a condition. Uh, like, uh, epilepsy or something. Like, it fucks with his head gives him headaches all this shit so that's why he's always hiding away you know from mm, crowds and makes shit makes sense there's, there's a real underlying at first everyone thought he was just weird being uh, our music's so great that you don't need to record people thought it was like a he a, is like, like a, that too though I mean yeah, yeah it was I, I like a condescending that. kind of way mm -hmm. yeah well but so I guess it could be a little bit of both mm -hmm. example um, this is my brother's story but my brother went to a Tool concert once um as you know, the drummer's from Paola, Kansas. Mm -hmm. We grew up Ooh. in Osawatomie. Okay. So the guy who brought my brother was best friends with the drummer growing up. Oh. So they got backstage passes. Hell yeah. He went back there in hopes to meet Maynard. Maynard doesn't hang out after shows. He goes straight to his trailer. Huh. Because he doesn't like meeting people. He's, it's kind of like me in that sense, whereas that's probably what I would do. I mean, he, they weren't on Spotify like, until just a couple years ago. Especially yep. if I'm a famous musician, I got a wife and kids and stuff, like, I have no reason yeah. to, like, hang out with random, yeah. like, groupies, more or less. It's like, I didn't ask for fame, I just am good at what I do. Yeah, I, I just like making this art. That's didn't, it. didn't My Chemical Romans, didn't they accidentally, or didn't they... Weren't, weren't they not trying to get famous, but they did? Or Yeah, what? they were just kind of a garage band that blew up. I mean, oh. 
I thought there was something a little bit. I don't little, know. I don't think so. About that. I mean, Gerard Way wanted to be a comic book artist. Yeah, that's what it or, was. Uh, uh, yeah. author. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, that's kind of what he was going for. And then, and then he just kind of started a band with his brother and some friends. And, and that they just kind of took off. Up and, and he didn't expect it. Yeah. Yeah. But now he gets to do what he loves. Yeah. So. Band broke up. And now he's written like a bunch of comics. That before. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, boys and girls, thank you for watching the show today. It's been a really fun episode. A little uh, deep dive on the deep freeze, a little question and answering. Getting to know us a little bit. Yeah. And getting to know that I'm secretly the nicest, angriest man you'll ever meet. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just James, no fixins. Yeah. So. And nobody knows shit about me. Yeah. He's He's right. The mouse, the magician, the myth, <laughs> the legend. The, uh, uh, what do you call those? Uh, fucking. What are you? You're an enigma. <laughs> he's an essence yeah he's not even a real person it's just we, there's no one back there transcended yeah. I am robot I am I am robot <laughs> alright uh, 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 <laughs> happy Halloween uh, have a good have a fun safe night uh, be careful watch out for the killer clowns uh, and the candy and the candy and uh, this has been the deep freeze my name is James my name is Grant my name is AJ. 